Hello, I'm Kendra and this is Hooked by Happenstance and it is time for another installment of Freak or Frog. Freaker Frog is my ongoing series where I face my fear of the unfinished, I go into my large collection of Wobegon whips, and I decide what I'm going to freak out about and put onto my hook and actually get done, and what I'm going to frog and make disappear. But today is going to be a little bit different. Today we are going to do what I do periodically, which is look at my on the hook list and give it some consideration and decide what I still feel passionate about and want to actually complete. If there's anything on there that should be frogged and, you know, no longer hanging over my head, or if there are some things that I just want to accept, I'm backburnering, I'm not frogging yet, but I do not want to work on currently. So there are currently 15 things on my on the hook list. So let's take a peek at the list. Okay, so here is my on the hook list. I usually keep it up on my wall, but I've moved it down here so we can look at it a little bit more closely. Now my plan is to make a, uh, a secondary little like checkoff sheet, but also just a more, I don't know, pared down on the hook list, more of an order of operations that I want to do these in. So what we're going to work on, oh, this one, oh, the ends are not woven in. So we are going to talk through what is here, consider them, and that is what my Freaker Frog is going to be this week, is figuring out what I'm going to freak out about and work on in the order I write down and what I'm going to frog. Now, there is one thing that is going on my freak out list first that I'm putting on my hook first, and that is my cogitation number two, which is right here because I need to get working on that. And I'm just gonna pull these off while we talk about them and then I will put them back on at my leisure. So let's see if there's anything on here that I just straight up know I'm going to frog. Um, the green top, I actually, I just need to go find the yarn and put it away. I'm not gonna get to this for a while. It was an idea I had and I liked, but I found other things I like better. So that is going to go away. And my office rug. This was a Let Peach Look Pick from November. And I found a different solution to my office, which makes the rug impractical. And we are ultimately going to get new flooring in here in the next year, so it'll be fine until then. So I'm going to frog that as well. And, oh, this, the tie-dye skirt dress combo. I changed the way I want to make it. I figured out a new pattern idea. Oh, should I leave it on here? I'll put it toward the bottom. So let's see. So I'm going to put this toward the bottom of the list because I want to work on that, but I'm going to need to start over because I figured out a way to make it work better. Also, my cogitation wrap number one just needs ends woven in, which as far as the things on this list is relatively low priority, so it will go toward the bottom. Is there anything on here that can be finished very quickly? Ah, the snow person for my wreath literally just needs its face put on. So I will work on that after the cogitation number two. So I'll add that to my list. And my dishwasher just came on. So at least something, you know, uh, productive is happening. <laughs> Also, the Santa pants will be very quick to finish, so I will put that on my list after the snow person. So the third thing on the list is the Santa pants. Then, other things that are near completion. My granny virus is currently my like on-the-go project, so I'm going to just put that down next because whenever I leave the house, that is what comes with me but that will not necessarily, I, I'll be willing to pass that up with other items. Now, my Tides of Change is pretty close. I mean, it needs some effort put into it, but it is closer to being done than my other Afghan. So, Tides of Change will be number five on my list. And what is next? Okay, my the Better Mood Blanket. Oh, 
these are going to have, what has the least amount of work left in it? The Uwilla shawl that I got more yarn for, the one with the little owls. So I'll put that next. I will need to pull out just a little of what's already done to put the new yarn in, I figured out, but it'll work just fine. Then I think the next closest thing to being done is the square deal sweater. Okay. And with the pop sweater, I'm still deciding what I want to do. It might turn into just being a poncho like I originally was thinking. I haven't decided if I want to make the investment. I'm going to need to buy like six skeins of yarn to do it. And so it's going to be a money commitment for me and I have yet to decide whether I want to put that commitment into action. So that's just kind of a back burnered project. So I'll put that down here by the cogitation wrap. Uh, my better mood blanket. I could work on that next after the square deal sweater. Okay. And my weather bracken could be number nine. And my red uh, graduation afghan for my other nephew will be number 10. From 15 items down to 10, which I have organized kind of by importance to me. Now I recognize that the red grad afghan should probably float higher. And once I finish the blue tides of change one, I will give more consideration to it. I haven't decided whether I want to finish that afghan or make something that might make me like more excited to work on it. So we'll see, but obviously an Afghan is gonna happen. And I've also bought myself some time. I thought I was gonna need to finish it by June. We're not going to the graduations, but they are coming out here in August. So I will send them home with my nephews from here rather than um, mailing them. So I have a little more time and I can give it some more consideration. The important thing we did was we removed two items from my list. My green top and my office rug are both things that are going to be, um, well, the office rug is going to be frogged. The green top, I think there's only a few rows in it, but I'm going to just put that yarn back into stash. And there are three things that have been backburnered. So, backburnering the tie-dye skirt to dress thing that I was working on. I still have an idea and I want to do it, but I need to work on the design for it. So it's just going to have to hang out for a little bit. But I've changed my, my strategy, so I'm going to have to frog what's there and start over. Cogitation wrap number one needs all the ends woven in, but I'm just not in an end weaving mood right now, so it's not going to happen. And the third one is my pop sweater, which I'm considering more thoroughly because it's going to be an investment of money if I want to do a full sweater like I was thinking. I just don't think that's in the cards like this month, but maybe in, you know, by the end of the summer it will be, and it's not like I'm going to wear it now anyways, so I can buy myself some time before I make any big decisions on that front. Then the other 10 items, like I said, we've already put into order. I feel much better now just kind of having, um, I mean, decreasing my active list I need to feel bad about by a third. And I recognize I don't have to feel bad about it, but I kind of do. So I've cut that down by a third. That seems good to me. And I think that two or three of these things should be fairly quick for me to knock out and just be done with. So I don't know, by next Friday, I could probably have it down by another five items if I try hard. And even if I don't try hard, I think I could at least have it down by two or three. So that is where we stand. I hope that this will give you the inspiration to look at the things that you have claimed you want to be making and decide whether you really want to be making them and just accept the things that you don't want to be making and get rid of them. You don't need them. It's not worth it if it's not something that you're really going to enjoy. And as I pull out each of these projects to work on, if I find that there is something about them that does not make me happy, that I, that the reason they're taking so long and languishing is because of some error or inconsistency or, I don't know, fit issue, I'm going to frog them. And if I do, I will tell you about it in a future video. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!